this is Matthew Robert Payne, and this is a prophecy for Peter. Uh, and uh, I'll just pray and dedicate this to the Lord. Uh, dear Father, I pray that uh, you'd give me a word for Peter, a word to bless him, encourage him, and lift his spirits up. In Jesus' name I ask, amen. I see um, an image. of a man running in a race and uh, there's people ahead of him and people behind him. He's about midfield. It looks like it's uh, like a 1600 metre race and uh, he's gaining on the men in front of him and um, uh, the Apostle Paul uh, tells us that we're in a race and uh, if you understand the Bible uh, a little bit, uh, we're not in a race against others, uh, we're in a race against ourselves. And uh, uh, the image uh, tells me that um, you're indeed in a race uh, against yourself and, uh, and you're midway, uh, you're, uh, you're not uh, the worst of Christians and uh, you're not the most spectacular, uh, but you're midway and you're gaining on the ones in front. Um, so that's a really good position uh, to be in. Um, uh, some of us uh, would uh, assume that we're out in front, but um, along comes someone uh, more humble uh, than us and puts us in our rightful place. Um, uh, and humility is really the key. Uh, so um, I see you uh, uh, being used um, to encourage others. Uh, your friend Des uh, is uh, being used to encourage others too. And uh, um, I see you also uh, being used uh, to encourage other people. Um, I see you... Um, I see you... Uh, I sense that uh, you're uh, quite a... a a cynic or a skeptic um, uh, and I don't mean that in a bad way um, uh, you you tend to uh, be able to uh, pick holes in things and pick holes in people's arguments um, and uh, you can be uh, what uh, some would say cynical and skeptical about uh, different teachings and uh, different things that people come out with. Um, and uh, it's uh, you type of people that keep us on our toes. You, uh, you look at supposed revelations and uh, you pick them to pieces uh, scripturally and logically. And... Uh, you're able to uh, have people uh, see sense and uh, determine what's right and wrong. Um, you've had that uh, most of your life and uh, it's, a, it's a type of discernment uh, that's uh, act, act, actually uh, a gift of God. Uh, it's... Uh, a form of discerning a spirit, uh, discerning the truth. Um, and uh, you're able to um, discern error. Uh, you can just uh, sense it, uh, just like a, a bank teller uh, can be given a forgery and they can feel it in their fingers. They can feel uh, a forgery across their fingers and they can tell that it's not the right uh, substance, it's not the right note. Uh, so too, 
can you uh, sense, you can just uh, intuitively sense uh, error and um, uh, you've, you've, I, I feel that uh, people have spoken ill of you uh, because of this gift, uh, have called you a cynic and a skeptic and uh, bad mouth you. Um, and if that's the case, um, I apologize uh, for them. Um, God, uh, you, you never um, desired uh, disability, you never uh, desired this gift. <coughs> It just came naturally to you, and uh, so many times you've uh, wanted to turn it off. Uh, you just wish that you could just be more gullible and uh, accept uh, fallacies and accept heresy, uh, but you can't. And uh, you've got this uh, a clear discerning uh, gift, and. Uh, and uh, so you struggle with it. And um, Jesus wanted to use uh, this prophetic word uh, to reassure you and say that everything is okay. And uh, you, you haven't gone to the extent to publish uh, a website uh, calling out all the false teachers and the false prophets. Uh, uh, and they they have that sort of gift uh, also. Uh, you haven't gone that far, but uh, you certainly uh, have got a keen awareness of uh, who's false and who isn't, uh, who's teaching error and who's teaching the truth. And uh, um, so um, I'm, I'm aware uh, that there's uh, quite a bit of error in some of the things I've been uh, sharing uh, in the past when I was mentally sick. Um, and so I'm uh, very keenly aware of my error. Uh, I sense that uh, Jesus uh, uh, wants to encourage you uh, to um, uh, encourage other people uh, to come alongside uh, people and uh, build them up. Um, I, I sense that uh, Jesus uh, very much would like um, you uh, to get the gift of prophecy and uh, prophesy over people and encourage people with uh, the gift of prophecy. Uh, I've got a book called uh, uh, prophetic evangelism uh, made simple and uh, I encourage you to uh, get that book and pray the prayer in the end and receive the gift of prophecy and uh, um, you're a very encouraging person uh, you're an encouragement uh, to know and uh, you have uh, a real uh, gift of uh, coming alongside people and encouraging people and blessing them. And uh, if you had the gift of prophecy without even knowing a person, you could say something encouraging to them and build them up. And uh, I really feel that um, the Lord would um, love you uh, to learn how to evangelize people with the gift of prophecy. Um, and uh, that's why I suggested my book, Prophetic Evangelism Made Simple. I, um, I uh, sense that uh, you, you're going to uh, have um, a good year. Um, and uh, I don't often say that in prophecy. Um, um, but uh, I sense that um, you're going to uh, come to grips uh, with a few things uh, of, uh, of the past that haven't uh, been resolved and you're going to resolve uh, them in your heart uh, this year um, and uh, you're going to uh, learn and uh, and uh, um, work through uh, some past uh, hurts uh, this year and get on top of them. Um, I pray that this has encouraged you and uh, 
I hope that uh, you can write to me and give me some feedback. God bless.